All right, so today we're going to go over how to um, set up your table of contents for your digital sketchbook. Uh, there's an assignment in Schoology and it's called Table of Contents. You're going to click on that assignment and then it has the directions. We're going to open a copy and then we're going to copy and paste it to our digital sketchbook and then we're going to link all the slides for to the table of contents. And you can use the shortcut keys, control plus K for that. So to start off with, you're gonna click on this link on top. And that is gonna open the table of contents. It also has directions here on the bottom for you to see. The first thing we need to do is uh, copy this slide so we are going to go to file make a copy of selected slides whoops just kidding that's not what we want to do um we're just going to right click and copy um if you see right here it says Control c that's a shortcut so if i hit the Control c button on my keyboard it would automatically make a copy of whatever i have selected then we need to go into our um, Google Drives. So you're going to add a tab. And right here by your um, icon, you're going to click on the little waffle button. And you're going to select Drive. If you don't see your digital sketchbook, then you can um, search it by just searching for digital sketchbook and it will should come up in your Google Drive and you can select it that way and then we're going to paste at the top we're going to paste that slide we just copied so I am going to right click and paste or you can hit control V We do not want to link it, so we're going to click on Don't Link. Um, here I've already added the first two slides for you guys in the table of contents. As you get more slides throughout the year, you're going to add it to this table of content. So the first thing we need to do is link our sketchbook cover. So we're going to start by highlighting sketchbook cover and you're going to insert link or like I said you can hit control plus K on your keyboard and when this comes up you're going to click on slides in this presentation and you're going to link it to slide number two because it's slide number two is my cover and apply and then I'm going to go to the next one and highlight the inspiration collage. Um, and you can also right click right here and get a menu where you can link slides in this presentation. It's going to be the slide number three. So I'm going to pick slide number three and apply. Now before we're finished we also have to link all these pages back to the table of contents because eventually you're going to have a lot of slides and it's going to get real confusing if you don't keep up with that. So to do that, I'm going to insert image and I'm going to search the web and I'm just going to search for a home button icon. And I'm just going to click on a home button that I like, this one, and I'm going to insert it. Now remember to resize it, you're just going to click on a corner and you can make it smaller. 
and I'm just going to try to keep them all in the same place on my slides just to make it less confusing. And then I'm going to take this button and I'm going to control C. Okay, copy it. Or you can right click and copy. And go to this next slide and paste. And I'm just going to paste it up in the corner. And, and then I need to link this to my table of contents. So we're going to link it the same way we did the table of contents. Make sure, make sure it's selected. We're going to insert a link or control K. And we're going to go to slides in this presentation. And you want to link it to the first slide and you're going to apply. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy this and go to my next slide and then paste. And since I already linked it to the first slide, I don't have to do that step again. All I have to do is copy and paste. So you're going to copy and paste this icon to every page that you add. And if you need to, you can always make it a little smaller so that it doesn't cover up um, the things that are on your page. So what that will do is when you're working in your slides, if you click on this, this will automatically take me to my cover. And then if I click on this button, it's going to automatically take me back to the table of contents. So you just want to make sure all your links work. Yes, that goes to slide three. And that goes back to my first slide. So once you get all this done, then you're going to, to go up to file and download. And all you need to download is the one slide. So we're going to download a JPEG image of our current slide. And so when I go back to Schoology, I'm going to submit that JPEG. to. So that's me turning in my assignment. So I'm going to submit. I'm going to upload a file. And it's right there. So I'm going to upload that, click on open, and submit. So that now that assignment is submitted and finished, it is all set up in my digital sketchbook. So now I can close that out because it's just going to save automatically in my drive.